This is the Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, on Alternative Talk, AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage and finance expert, Tina Mitchell. Welcome to the Money Hour with your host and mortgage expert, Tina Mitchell, right here on 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, July 11th show. I'm dedicated to my listeners, providing you each with the tools needed to make informed decisions on matters that affect your money. If you're hearing my show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast. You can talk to myself or the guests that I have in studio by calling the show at one 855 411150 Again, it's one 855 400 1150 or online at themoneyhour.com and in studio right now excited to talk talk with Mark Tillman and Kathy Oman with 3D4RE based in Kirkland Washington 3D4RE offers a true 3D visual experience on all devices for homeowners and I'm really excited to talk with you guys it's um, something special that you're offering for roll tours and a service that they can provide to the sellers that they're uh, they're doing listing their home and first time I've had a chance to talk with you guys so again just really appreciate you being here thank you so much well thank you Tina for having us and a little background let's start out with Mark Mark owned and operated a business for 20 years and has has been in business and licensed real estate broker 10 years Mark is 2012 volunteer of the year for Keith Aiton housing Keith Keith which is now attain housing Okay. Out of Kirkland. Perfect. And then in 2014, Everyday Hero for Kirkland Kiwans and Desert Storm Veterans. So that's just awesome to hear, uh, Mark. Kathy is a local girl. Her first real job was a local camera repair shop, which started her appetite for photography. Professionally, she's been shooting for over close to 20 years, starting out working on the educational cruise ship. How fun would that be? From there, she shot many different venues, and for the last 10 years, her mainstay has been real estate photography. She uses her 35 millimeter digital camera with blended imagery approach capturing bracketed shots of the same scene and then using software to create a final picture with 3d technology she can capture and showcase a more complete visual of the property and i have to say i've gone online and looked at some of these in preparing for the show with you guys and, and can you give your website to uh, my listeners please uh yes tina that would be 3d for re.com and that's the number three letter d the number four re.com because we're on radio i'm not i don't have a camera in here kind of a drag you just get to listen to our voices and it's really visual you need to get on their site and take a look at the uh the magic that they're doing so mark i want to go ahead and start out with you and ask you a few questions and i'm going to move over to kathy um 3d r 3d4 re who are you so tina we are a small company based out of kirkland and we are providing a service to all the realtors and brokers uh, here in the Northwest of creating and uh, developing 3D models of their listings, of their homes mm -hmm. that they're selling on the market. Um, we decided that why not bring this to everyone um, and, and get them the opportunity to have this latest and greatest technology in real estate yes. in their hands. Yes, and I can tell exci excited and passionate that you are about it, and that's why you guys are so good at what you do. And again, if you're a seller out there, you think, well, gosh, it's a seller's market, I'm gonna sell my property in a snap of a finger. You may sell your property in the snap of a finger, but the question would be, do you want to maximize your dollars? And maximizing your dollars is making your home look as visually as appealing as you can to get more offers in to bid those prices up. So what is a 3D model? So, <clears throat> of course, being on a radio is hard to explain mm -hmm. a 3D model, um, but a lot of video gamers uh, would understand what that is. Uh, but I took this from a company on the East Coast and they termed it, if a photo is worth a thousand words to help tell a story, then a 3D model is worth a thousand photos. Wow, I like that. And so 3D tours are immersive, interactive tours that enable anyone to be anywhere at any time inside of a property. Wow, how awesome is that? And it's really almost like an online 24-7 open house. Yeah. I mean, people can 
view your house in detail, mm -hmm. top to bottom, from their PC, yeah, from their phone, from their phone, that's from their so iPad, awesome. anytime, any day, anywhere. So, Mark, who in the heck developed this technology? Well, it certainly wasn't 3D for R. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> we can't all do just like amazing stuff, That's right? That's <laughs> right. No, this technology comes from a company out of Northern California called Matterport. Okay. And they are led by some great innovators with experience in computer vision, sensor technology, 3D mesh generation, and cloud software. Yeah. Wow. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. Yes. Yeah. And and, and they are probably the leading company uh, in the U.S. right yeah. now that is providing um, this, these 3D models. Awesome. Well, you know, just thank goodness for all these uh, creative people out there that bring up these these tools that really help us to uh, maximize what we would do in our, our career. Kathy, I want to move over to you and talk to you about uh, your experience in the industry in um, uh, the photography side. All right. What would you like to know? Well, so how long have you been doing this and um, why are you so passionate about it and what do you really bring to the, uh, the company and your expertise? Well, for photography itself, one thing I really love about houses is besides how interesting they are and all the different kinds there are, they don't complain about their weight. They don't complain about what they look like okay. on, you know, when you see the picture. Uh -huh. So that's one thing that I've really enjoyed about In comparison houses. to other yes, uh, things that you Other have, kinds yes. of photography, uh -huh. exactly. The 3D has just been so much fun and so amazing. It's, it's basically like a Google Street walkthrough. So yeah. people go to Google all the time and walk around houses or, or the street view. Mm -hmm. And so now you can go inside the home and take your time and look around and you see everything. You yeah. can look up, down, spin around, you can do whatever you want. And the houses that I've been able to shoot have been fantastic. Yeah. Usually they're a little bit on the higher end side. Um, and that's been great for me too, because sure. that's not a world I normally live in. So I've really appreciated that. Nice. And I like how Mark said it's an open house 24-7. I mean, how cool is that? So to do a, a, a typical shoot, a 3D model of a home, how much time does that take you to complete that? It really depends on the size of the home. And it takes uh, every thousand square feet is about 30 to 45 minutes. Wow, so that's not doesn't seem bad at all. It, it depends on the size. It depends on the layout. Okay. The layout... Um, you know, if there's lots of stairs or if there's lots of furniture in, you have to get behind the furniture. Otherwise, it creates kind of a black spot. So you have to make sure that you've got captured as much as you can, as much information as you can, which uh -huh. means moving the camera every so many feet. And what it does is it builds kind of like a floor plan. And so you stay in line of sight and move uh -huh. the camera and it keeps building that. Got it. And so what about um, inside the inside and the exterior? You're doing both, uh, Kathy? No, we usually don't do the exterior. Okay. The light has a, pro it has a problem with the light. It's an infrared technology. So um, it, ha it can work a little bit on cloudy days, um, evening shots or dusk shots. You can capture more, but okay. bright sunlit days. It doesn't work. Got it. And I would think that, you know, the 3D experience would be, you know, most beneficial for somebody in the interior anyways. Now, how long did it take you to learn how to master that 3D camera? Pretty much. I went in one day and yeah. was shown one afternoon and then I was on my own. So it didn't wow. take too long, but I have had my share of mistakes and I did join a user group. So uh -huh. I've... I've learned a lot from other people's mistakes as well and yeah. learned, use that going forward. Well, that's a key to recognize that is is watching other people's mistakes and uh, don't make them yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh, besides uh -huh. Realtors, I know you guys have, have work with a lot of real estate agents and maximizing profit for their sellers. Who else uh, benefits from your service? Well, there's a lot of hospitality. There's construction, you know, a lot of builders. If they have a model they'd like to showcase, that uh -huh. would be great. Retail, insurance, public venues. Some people have done theaters, behind the scenes at theaters. Uh -huh. um, one of the things we would like to do for Halloween is actually try and create a little bit of a ghost house where Fun. you have a picture of somebody in one scene and uh -huh. then not in another. So wow. we're looking for volunteers to let us use their house as a, a Halloween 
ghost, talk to, ghost town. Talk to me. We'll we'll talk about that. That would be <laughs> that would be fun. So, Mark, I want to go ahead and go back to you, and um, I have to ask you, what's the difference between Matterport 3D model and the virtual tools that currently find on the real estate websites now? So one of the most uh, common uh, virtual tours that most realtors are aware of is Tour Factory. <laughs> okay. And, and understanding that, you know, you take a series of photos and those photos are stitched together to play side by side with some music in the background. Uh -huh. So that's a typical Tour Factory. Okay. Uh, the Matterport 3D um, is allowing you to literally walk through the house step by step in yeah. each room. Wow. So you can imagine in an open house, a couple walks in the front door, usually the first place they go is to the kitchen. Yep. And then they check out the kitchen, they go uh -huh. to other places in the house, then they come back to the kitchen again. Yes. So imagine you're sitting at home on your PC viewing this home yes you, you're able to go to the kitchen yes come back go back again so go it back just upstairs, allows head downstairs exactly. it's awesome so it just allows you to give give you that immersive feeling makes sense so mark your target mar uh, market well right now uh realtors are certainly our target market mm -hmm. um you have high-end listings that may take a little longer to sell. Okay. Um, so those would be an ideal uh, 3D model data shoot for us. Uh -huh. Also, for realtors who are thinking about capturing the overseas market, we have a lot of oh, foreign buyers yeah. who are coming to this area and to allow them to view the home before yes. they even step foot Makes sense. in and this I would, area. I would, have, I would imagine that you actually could, and for me to say this, it's it's pretty strong statement because I'm a real visual person, but you could probably actually just buy the house without coming in and seeing it with this technology so mark first time having you in studio just not enough time with the two of you guys i definitely need to have you uh have you back but i want to go ahead and wrap up my uh my time with you by sharing with my listeners how to schedule what's it cost for your services so one of the things that we pride ourselves on is making it easy for realtors to do business with us okay and so you can easily go to our online site 3d4re.com and schedule and, and, and make an appointment that way. You can also just give me a call. Okay. Uh, my number is 425-260-6612. Um, but we make it easy for you to schedule an appointment okay. and get this data shoot taken care of. And what's it cost, Mark? Uh, the cost varies in sizes, uh, sizes of the home. So for your average home, say 2,400 square feet up to about 3,200 square feet, uh -huh. you're looking at $400. Really? How uh, unbelievable, reasonable is is that? That's yes. awesome. So if you're listening right now and um, and you're selling in our local real estate market, the money hour is really about bringing experts in, the best of the best in the local market and all arenas, all areas when it comes to your money. And I'm telling you right now, if you're selling your home, make sure your real estate agent is contacting my guest here to maximize the profit that you're going to be able to get on that home. Thank you, Kathy, for for coming in, Mark. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Look forward to uh, having you back in studio because I know that we've got another show booked for you here, hopefully in the in the near near future. Correct? Yes. So excited to have you back, and thank you so much. What a what a special opportunity to have you guys here and share your service. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. And coming up next on the Money Hour, even in today's market, you need to be strategic in how you market your home for sale. Why would you want to get top dollar? Nah, I don't know. I'd want to get top dollar. You've got to have great advice, the best advice to accomplish that. And that's why I've invited Sherry Karshano with Centrix Real Estate right here at 1150 AM KKNW after the short break.